Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with the fabulous, very <laughs> philosophical Bill Jordan. You guys are great, and you're the only people that reference me as fabulous. I need to start spreading the word about how people should define me. You are fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Uh, fabulous. Are, is Bill, beyond fabulous, you're fun and you're thoughtful. We love the fact that you have a perspective on life, on, on humanity. It's great. You, well, wait, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's, before we run out of superlatives, you're like on a list of about 18 uh, inches long for, for Bill. You look marvelous, darling. Thank because you. I, 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 I've noticed... I've noticed that you have um, uh, gotten rid of, for the time being, those ratty hats, which I loved. Uh, but it seems that you've put them on the dustbin, the ones that were freeing. Uh, I miss yeah. them, but you do look marvelous, darling. Art, Art, you need to get out a little more. They actually sell them looking like that now. Yeah. Yes. It's like, it's like the torn up jeans that women yeah. like to wear. They, yeah. sell the, they sell hats Caps. This yep. is a cap, not a hat. They sell caps with the edge here frayed. Art doesn't so, get out much. I make. No, I make my I, own. I've made my own the heart, the old fashioned way. Good. I so so, so so speaking of uh, your wisdom today, if you were old, a teenager again, you were eighteen and starting out, uh, you right. might have a whole different outlook on caps uh, today and other things. Uh, was that a yeah. sneaky lead into what would you tell your 18-year-old well, uh, self? Yeah, I mean, um, some of them, and maybe we've touched on it before, <clears throat> but, you know, it's, it's like beware credit cards. Oh, that's a good advice. My daughter told me not long ago, she said, Dad, I don't remember you all teaching me anything about credit cards. I remember you teaching me how to write a check. And to write the number close to somebody can't throw a nine in there or something like that. I remember you teaching me that, but you never, you know, warned me about credit cards. Yeah. So, yeah, I would warn myself about credit cards. Be aware of that, you know, 18 percent interest or, you know, sometimes it's even higher. Uh, seemingly now, depending on what kind of loan you get, I would tell myself to. And, and my first boss told me this. My first boss, when I was 18, 19 years old. When I was making 85 bucks a week, he'd say, save $5 a week. Don't touch it. So I, yeah. would, have, I would tell myself, I don't care what you're saving, make it regular, make it automatic, and don't have a pile you touch of savings and have a pile you don't touch. And then the other one is uh, regarding affairs of the heart <laughs> that I wish I'd known when I was 18. And I've seen this pattern of behavior several times in my life, if the level of communication coming back to you drops significantly, noticeably, there is communication going to someone else that's taking up that slack. Does that make sense? You know what? I mean, well, it, let's say that, that you're, I mean, you're, you're dating a girl and, and her level of communicating with you is an eight out of 10. And it's pretty regular. It's daily. It's weekly, whatever. If you're writing letters and all of a sudden it drops to a three or a four. Someone else is taking up that slack. And the other addendum to that is if the young lady ever tells you that she and you are now just friends, believe her. And if she ever tells you that she and that new guy that's always hanging around and that she cannot stop talking about, that they are just friends, do not believe her. And that probably works in reverse as well. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know that. But I'm pretty sure about that theory of mine. <laughs> I wish right, my 18-year-old any... self had known that. Uh, well, that's, th those are all good pieces of advice for anybody at any age, but 18, they're important. Has that not, happened, have, to you? Uh, Has not happened to you that you're dating somebody and it's like, oh, he's just a friend? Like, yeah. Mm, he sure is around a lot. You sure do talk about him a lot. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. just a friend. Do you have any advice for your 18-year-old self about work and careers? Um, yeah, I, would, I think I would have, and I don't want to say... Um, have an exit plan, but I would think is always have in the back of your head, 
a plan B or a fallback plan. Um, because you don't, you know, people always talk about, well, I'm going to work until I'm X amount of years or whatever. Well, you're not the only one in that equation that gets to vote how long you're going to have that job. Hmm. Yeah. And also get rid of the notion that it is your job. It is not your job. It's the company's job that you have filled. And the company gets a vote as to whether or not they keep you or not. And it yeah. could be or by by reason or not, no reason for cause or no cause. They can make that choice. So just without being paranoid, do your best, but sock some away, have a plan, have a backup yeah. plan. If this falls, here's what I will do. Have some kind of something in the back of your Head. And quite honestly, they call it nowadays the side hustle. If you've got time, maybe be working yeah. on a little something on the side. Maybe you're selling something on eBay yeah. or, or you know, Facebook Marketplace. I've got a friend whose who's, uh, son goes and buys stuff on eBay, fixes it up, typically furniture, fixes it up, and then spins it and makes three, four times his money. Well, a lot, turn, let me ask uh, let, me, business. let me expand this a little bit, Jeff. Uh, uh, one thing I admire about my partner, John, is that uh, I think uh, you were in graduate school and um, you, uh, I don't know that you completed that because you started working in something that you absolutely love, which is TV, I guess, uh, producing. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, uh, you were in, Col I think you were in Columbia uh, yeah. from a, a master's program. And yeah. so you followed your dream. And I, I would tell my Eight, and you had a, a 40, 50 year career in entertainment. We, we still have it now. Uh, but when I remember I was first starting out, I had a, an accounting and finance degree. And I, as I turned out, I went into to sales of uh, computer software and things like that. I sort of like moseyed into it in programming. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I always wanted to be in entertainment. And I was always thinking about and I was by that time I was making ten or twelve thousand dollars a year. This is big back money. in in the, in the early sixties. It, it was yeah. big money, and but I was always had a dream of maybe being one of those guys in the mailroom at William Morris, and becoming a, an agent, and uh, that's the dream I would have. But I would have had to take a deep pay cut in order to do that, and I wish. But I'm, I'm sort of after a long career, which I loved, and primarily computer graphics and, and business management and, and fixing and broken businesses, which I really enjoyed for the last five or six years of my full-time working career. Uh, but I would say to anybody who was younger, and, and, and I'm talking about even if you're still in your 20s, first advice you gave is tithe to yourself. You should be a charity and just inviolate. The fact yeah, that pay you're yourself now, first. My mom used right. to say that pay yourself first. Yeah. Right. And and make that inviolate. Absolutely inviolate. And we all know now that uh, even if we had changed things maybe in our late 40s, or early 50s, we would have had a lot more financial security. Yeah. Uh, then even if we're okay now, we could have been more than okay. But not yeah. only that, but also even if you have a college degree. That doesn't define you if you find something else of interest, because most of what you learn, you learn on the job. And that's what I would tell my 18 year old self is that go. don't get shoehorned into a particular career uh, and think that you're stuck there because you know, look at all the lawyers who are now uh, uh, broadcasters. Uh, Savannah Guthrie on the Today Show, she was a sure. she graduated, I think, at the top of the class. She got the top score in her. Uh, law exams when she graduated, when she took her, her bar exams. Uh, and you know, who would have thought that? She's an entertainer. Uh, and yeah. all the others uh, that do that. So even if you're in a particular profession, do doctors who are doing other things now, running companies, what have you. Uh, so don't shoehorn yourself. And that's, I think, my big takeaway is that you can okay, do I've, I've got I've got a piece of advice that I gave first gave 30 years ago as a guest speaker at a college. 
uh, they came in and asked me, will you join us for career day? Talk about careers and talk to those kids that are interested in going into television, entertainment, whatever. And my advice was based on the fact, and it still holds true, it's a great advice for anybody at any age, but particularly for young people who are starting out, you know, whether they think they know exactly what they want to do or whether they're just, you know, I just need a job kind of attitude. And it it goes back to the fact that my grandfather, if I remember this correctly, worked for one company mm. for 40 years, got the gold watch, retired, blah, blah, blah. My father worked, uh, went into newspapers and, and writing and what, he must have worked for three of, because newspapers folded, you know, yeah. back in the day in New York City yeah. where we lived, there were four, four, five, six newspapers. Now there's what, three, I think, uh, of any re, of any note. And um, he moved from this newspaper to that newspaper. And then he went into public relations and then he went into, I mean, just, and his son, that's me, started out working for two or three networks, moved from this network to that, that television station and there and that, and then went, quote, freelance, where, you know, every week could be a new job. And the advice is this, you are the product, mm. not you are the job, not the company you're working for, not the people who happen to be paying you. You develop yourself as a product, and you always have to be prepared for finding the next job, the next gig, if you will, or the next career. And um, it, it putting, in other words, putting the onus on you to develop yourself and be the best you can be, as opposed to please somebody hire me, pay me a lot of money. Hmm. I, I have something to add to that. Please. And it's a slight it's a slight change in mindset. And I had just advised a new college graduate this. Change your mindset, because it's typical when you initially, when you, well, I've worked with people my whole career that were constantly, how much do you think they make? What do you think they make? How much do they make? I want to make. How much do you make? How much, you know, get it out of your head is how much money you can make and change it to how much can you earn. And if you change your mind from what you're making to what you are earning, I think you'll do better. Yeah. Mm. I, th I think you will do better. Yeah, you will. You know, it's kind of it's interesting. Um, uh, there are so many areas, uh, I'm just thinking we, we, we could go on for a long time. Maybe we should, we should come back to this in, in different segments. Uh, but uh, John and I uh, met uh, when we were uh, officers of uh, a number of uh, nonprofits uh, together uh, in the industry nonprofits in uh, Southern California. And uh, it was sort of like stuff we did for fun to help encourage the next person or to meet people so you can maybe we were a bunch of freelancers, most of us. And uh, uh, John, I know that uh, uh, taught in the uh, community college system uh, for a while, just to help teaching uh, what audio and some other stuff. And uh, in fact, uh, there are many students. We have one Rudy, I won't mention his last name, who is now a professional cameraman, but he was a road engineer. And yeah. uh, 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 where but, are you going with this? So, I, yeah, we, so we, I'm we going with it. I'm going to come back to this go, in another manner. I'm going with the 18 year old self is uh, go to community college. Uh, yes, uh, go to Harvard, go to, uh, if you get a scholarship, yep. but don't go into debt for the rest of your life. Get a yep. two-year degree, and it's in California, any place, and then when you transfer even to the state system, the university system, you wind up with the same four-year degree as everybody else, but you've only spent 3000 bucks for the first two years, because you're probably living at home as well. And don't, and don't discount the trades. Yes. Right. Don't discount... Uh, Going into I'll, I'll, I'll jump on Art's suggestion about community college and take it one step further, and that is where you're going, Bill. Don't forget about the trades. My yeah. suggestion is learn on the job. It doesn't matter what the job is. It doesn't matter if they have a college degree in the job. Somebody's offering a, you know, a PhD in whatever it is. You can learn on the job. Apprentice Absolutely. yourself to somebody. Yep. Lawyers learn on the job. They, they go with other attorneys until they learn how to work in the court. So everything you learn, really, the 99% of what you need to do, to know, yeah. you're going to learn on the job. You're going to take yeah. the basic tools that you have and then learn from other people who 
mostly gone there before you. Right. Wow. We, we well, could go listen, on. Our, we could go I got to tell while. you, if our 18-year-old selves are listening, they're going to be pretty smart. Wise. Why but, then again, but, then again, but then again, we kind of junk this whole thing because 18 year olds don't think with their minds. They think with <laughs> their emotions. How about that? I'll use the word emotions. Uh, so it's, a, it's a, how do you get your emotions under control when you're 16, 17, and 18? You probably don't. So this no. is waste. This is probably wasted on. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> so, well, wait a so minute. Show their 18 year old kid. All right, this is celebrating Act 50. There's nobody 18-year-olds watching this anyway. True, true. And Unless they get punished for something. <laughs> yeah. Bill, thanks a lot. Go up to your room and watch Celebrating Act 2. Right. <laughs> Appreciate and when your in doubt, wisdom, even though I'm not 18 anymore. When in doubt, if you're over 50, there's always one thing you can do with regularity. You there's something. Embrace, it's more than one. You it's, can always it, embrace the boom. You live your life. You forget your age. Brace the boom. Thanks, guys. Amen. Always a pleasure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.